What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video. Hey man, I <laughs> got another update for the channel. Um, this here is a process uh, that's part of my build. I've been tinkering and toying with this PRV stuff, man. I decided to make some changes on the build. Um, and this is step one of that. Usually y'all know I go on my little rant or whatever, man, but I'm just popping boxes. Uh, I already cut the top to make it easier for the video. So let's just fold her back. Y'all might already be able to see what's in there. <laughs> I got my little sucker because Big D said you're a sucker. This right here might be going on the car tonight. Y'all know I got, well, damn, this is kind of small, but it is what it is. Um, I got two huge uh, team down for sound stickers. Uh, the red and blue ones, I said I needed a white one, and there she is. It's smaller, but it is what it is, man, it'll work. Uh, so, there it is. SFB 500.4. Let's get her out the box. Matter of fact, I'll just slide her forward. No, nope. we're gonna have to get her out. Yep. All right. So, I think that actually worked out. Yep, so that's uh, forward. So, y'all see it right there, man. SFB 500.4. Now, you might be wondering hey, man, didn't you have all these PRV amps? Yes, I did. I sold my PRV SQ3500X. Um, personally, I don't know. I'll say this, man. I, that amp was amazing. Um, but the purpose that I bought it for might have been a little bit too powerful. Uh, did tinker and play with the um, gain and all that type of stuff, man. Did get the PRV uh, DSP hooked up. And only deal that I can say on that is when I had that amp and I was playing it, it was on the, um, that dual tech, uh, what is it? XDC PA 10 BT. So, um, the SQ amps are supposedly, you know, they're the top of the line. They're sound quality amps. The amp sound, the amp and long sounded amazing. Uh, when I first got in the car and got to tinkering with stuff, man, it was great. But, uh, for the application that I was running, might have been a, t a tad bit too much power, uh, but you know, it all it comes down to playing with the game. And then, like I said, man, having that P PRV DSP uh, definitely made those changes very easy uh, to where things were protected. But I just couldn't find the sound that I was looking for. And granted, now these PRV uh, speakers, they are mid bass speakers and According to the website, they play up to, I think the 7,500 or whatever the hell. No, they don't. <laughs> they might go to 3,000 comfortably, maybe 3,500. And it, like I said, I, I kind of found their sweet spot, but it just, I don't know, man. I, I kept tinkering with it. It just wasn't getting there. So long story short, I had a buddy of mine hit me up like, yo, man, I need a 3,000 watt amp. I got some cash. Do you got anything? I said, man, it's your lucky damn day. <laughs> I said, man, I got this amp that I'm about ready to get rid of, man. I said, if you want it, man, um, I'll throw you a price. If you down for that, uh, come get it. He was like, man, I'm on the way. So it all worked out because I did plan on doing something different, which I'm in the middle of the process of doing that now. That's the reason for this video of this SFB 500.4. So let me slide her back, open her up. And let me see. Can I scooter? No, you still wouldn't be able to see that. Up over in that corner over, over there, I have an SFB um, 8000 watt amp. That's obviously going on my um, SCAR DDX 10. As I hit this camera thing again, I, I, like I said, I got this new camera stand. I keep trying to use it. I'm trying to use it, but it just, I don't know. I got to figure it out. And y'all might've heard my voice go down a little bit because I'm supposed to be getting sundown stickers with these, but I'm not getting them and it's pissing me off. But it is what it is, man. I guess maybe I can holler at um, Derek Haddock or somebody, or I know Jacob is owner of a company. I think I'm friends with him on Facebook. I'm not for certain, but I know I am friends with Derek and I'm damn sure about to hit him up like, yo man, y'all owe me two st uh, stickers because I didn't get a sticker with my 8K, didn't get a sticker with this one. I want my damn stickers. All right, so. 
Now, y'all, what do y'all see here? Like I said, Sundown Audio SFB 500.4. Um, I'll go ahead and open her up because why the hell not? Because she will be going in the car real soon here. And that's going to be another video update that'll be coming real soon. Uh, so like I said, man, I'm in the process of switching and going back home. And if you know what I mean when I say I'm going back home, then you've been around the channel for a minute. So I guess I should have turned these sideways. Nothing too crazy about this, man. I'm, you know, if y'all are subscribed to uh, Sundown Unofficial, you pretty much know everything about this amp, man. But I guess I'll do my little part uh, just to focus on, on these crossovers. And the main reason why I got this amp is because of this here. I know for sure which crossover I'm using, whether I'm going high pass, flat, or low pass. Uh, so obviously, for my deal, we'll be going to the high pass filter uh, for the speakers that I got coming. So. Like I said, man, this is part one of me switching over to something different. Uh, finally got my Canwood, uh, what is it? DDX 9907XR receiver installed. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Kenwood. Um, I'm not crazy about it. Uh, Y'all know me, man, I'm a Pioneer guy. The unit is nice, the screen is amazing, I'll, I'll say that. It's a high definition screen. I really wasn't tripping about stuff like that, man, especially for in the car, cause I'm gonna beat the piss out of everything anyway, man. But yes, that that high that high definition screen is amazing. The screen the screen itself is cool, man. So I just like I said, man, when you go uh, Pioneer next, you cannot go back. And um, I guess these XR receivers are supposed to be uh, along the line with the Pioneer next series radio, next uh, series radios, man. But I guess I'll have to wait till these uh, chip manufacturing plants get rebuilt and Pioneer get some stuff in, man, because I'm I'm starting to look at that nine inch floating screen. I'm just not, not, I, I just don't want to do it in my car. Uh, even though I kind of looked at some things, I was like, man, I probably could pull that off, man, but uh, we'll wait and see on that, man. So right now, I, I, plan on, I plan on sticking with the Kenwood. Hopefully sooner than later, I can get her going out of the car and, RVH, come get it. Uh, he already hit me up. I was like, man, you, you, when you ready to get rid of her, let me know. And I'm I'm going to give it a chance. I'll say that. It's, it's been less than 24 hours. Uh, put it in the car last night and it had to work and all that stuff, man. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll wait and play with it and tinker with it some more and just try to figure out uh, how to go with it and whatnot, man. But back to the topic of this video here. Sundown SFB, like I said, man, it's just an unboxing video, y'all. Y'all, like, if you're on YouTube, go to Sundown Unofficial, check out their video on it. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not really too much that I can say about it other than I'm going, it's, it's damn sure going in the car. We're going to go ahead and bridge her down. Uh, the two outside speaker out, um, outputs are how you bridge it. So it'll be up here and then down here. So she's definitely gonna get bridged. Uh, obviously the numbers that she did on Sundown Unofficial on the dyno, uh, essentially I'll say 1200 per uh, channel here and then channel here, so two channels um, bridge. You could say 1250, whatever, man, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'll say 1250, man. Let's go ahead and call her a solid 2500 watts. Uh, so she'll definitely be doing what I need her to do. And y'all will see real soon what I need her to do it on. Uh, so definitely stick around for those updates, man. So y'all know how I do, man, I'm sorry. I get to plan with stuff and I look at it like, hey man, I think this might be all right. I got, like I had to, I had to carry that, cure that curiosity, man. Like I just got to try PRV, I tried it and I'm done trying it. So uh, stick around and see what I got coming, man. Make sure, subscribe, hit the like button, share it, all that good jazz, man. And, um, what is this, June 7th? Give me a little bit, man. I'm gonna do a giveaway because I got a bunch of stuff around here that is just laying around. I tried to do the giveaway, uh, the May 4th thing. I still got all that stuff in a bag. It's a bag around here somewhere with all that stuff in it, man. I'm, I might add something else to it. Uh, just say, hey, this is a giveaway. X, Y, Z is the requirement and just get that stuff out the door, man. So y'all know the deal, <laughs> 2021. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken. That's still 1,000% correct. I'm still trying to do this budget build, man. That's that's just been my goal, and it's, it's been so hard. Like, I don't understand this, man, but um, 
still going budget on it. That's that's still going to be the theme of this year. Uh, so y'all just let stick around. Sooner or later, I'll get all this stuff in the car once I get settled in, uh, get that sound that I'm desiring. Uh, once my ears are pleased, and uh, we'll switch over to subwoofers right over there. Uh, so we'll get that going. I uh, got a whole plank of expensive ass wood. Jesus Christ, the prices have shot up. Uh, so I got a whole plank of MDF. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that this year, man, because Birch is double, almost triple the cost where I went. I don't know if y'all got Menards. I know Chicago has um, um, Menards because I've seen it on Big Bell. Is it Big Bell too? I've seen it on his channel where he went to Menards. I know the mid, well, I guess Chicago. Midwest is, I don't know if y'all got it out in Cali and um, the East Coast and down south or whatnot, man. Uh, but yeah, the price of wood is crazy. So definitely gonna go um, MDF on the box and go from there, man. So stay tuned. Some of y'all might already have a sneak peek on it because some of y'all are friends with me on Facebook. So stick around, giveaway coming. Should we say next video? Two videos from now? I got a couple updates, man. So stick around for that, man. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm out of here, man. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. I try to get back to everybody. I think I've been doing pretty good at that, man. It's your boy, Young Dub. I'm out. Audi 5000, matter of fact.